It's Sunday night and we got some hot playoff action for ya. Let's get right to it. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching the KHL Update. We travel to UFA first where Salavati Live play host to Mallorg in Game 4 of the series. The Green Machine currently leads it 2-1 after a decisive 5-1 win on Friday night. It starts with a bout. Grigori Panin drops the mids with Evgeny Timkins. You don't need to tell them what's on the line. Mallard break the deadlock early in the second period. Evgeny Timkin throws the puck in the slot for Dennis Rasmussen. His shot is stuff. Maxim Marashkin has a goal. Rebound and Rasmussen buries it. This is his first career KHL playoff goal. Mallard dodge a bullet short enough of that. Alexander Burmistrov goes for a cross ice pass. Hits Victor and deep it in the skate on the puck. Almost ends up in the net. Look at it. Off the skate, off the post, off the leg of Zagadolin. And yet not over the goal line. The only thing that matters. Two minutes later, Timo Hordikon and kicks it into gear, goes end to end with the puck, slashes his way through four defensemen, but shoots it straight at Zagadillan. Third period now, Salavat on a power play, Alina Sumark sauces it from the corner, Hordikon and goes for a cheeky move right in the crest of Zagadillan again. They finally find the equalizer late in regulation as Alexander Kadekin shoots from the hash marks and it goes in on Vladimir Jarkov. Die game and we're going to overtime. But Jarkov then shoots his team in the foot as it gets a minor for hooking and Magnit can make him pay. Sergei Mazakin gives it to Viktor and tip and he puts it on net and Matt Allison tips it past Yuka Matsula. Metalurk tied the series with this overtime win and will now face Salavat in two days time and Magnita goes for game five. We head over to Moscow now, where Dynamo faced Jokert after a narrow overtime loss. Let's see if the Justice can level the series at twos as we go to VTB Arena for the action. First period was 7 minutes in, Dmitry Kogorlitsky throws the puck in the slot for Nick Sindriches, who shoots Yanis Kalinic, has a piece of it, and the puck hits the post. One Latvian couldn't beat another. The blue and white get on the board late in the period as Vladimir Brooklyn beats Kalinic with a great wrister from the left wing. Moving on to the second, Yuckert with a two-man advantage, Simon Lapistow goes for a clapper and Alexander Yurimenko says no. Soon after that, Yuckert is still on a power play, Lapistow slides it over to Alex Grunt, shot taken, save is made by Yurimenko, then Yasa Yansa rings it off the pipe. Dynamo double their lead late in the period and they do it short-handed. Yanis Kalinic makes a clumsy pass, Patrick Zakerson intercepts a give and go with Kogorlitsky and Zakerson scores his second of the series. They put it on ice late in regulation as Andrei Mirana hits the empty 4x6. Alexander Yurimenko stops 43 shots for his 13th career at Garden Cup shutout and Daniel Masko take it 3-0 at home ice. They can finish up the series the day after tomorrow in Helsinki. We are now in Kazan, where Red and Champ Sogbars must win to keep the series against Avangard alive. The Hawks eye to complete the sweep tonight. It doesn't start well for Ogbars. Sergei Shmakov puts Avangard in the lead just six minutes in. He doesn't go in in his initial attempt, but he jams it home a moment later anyway. It takes Sogbars for just 40 seconds to respond. Paul Pasma fires it from the blue line and Anto Lanza redirects it in for his first of the series. It comes in a power play. Avangard have a great chance to get back in the lead before the intermission as Daniel Zernov beats Sergei Shiroka for a quick counter-attack but former Vancouver Canuck misses it wide. The Hawks strike again early in the second period. Hiro Sivanov gets his second assist of the night as he feathers it to Sergei Shimakov and Shimakov sends it into the back of the net. Beauty! Shimakov goes on to complete his hat-trick six minutes later as a converts on a two-minute advantage. He now has five goals in four games of this playoff run. Not a bad thing to have in your resume. Ogbars pulled back to within one early in the third period. Mikhail Glukov gets the puck down low from Arthur Lukayanov and makes it 3-2. But that's as close as they can get. Nothing goes right for Ogbars after that. 
First, Irvisiak smashes the puck right in the face of Justin Azevedo. Canadian forward has to leave the ice in obvious pain. And then they get three minor penalties in a row, robbing themselves of a fighting chance. That's it. The reigning champions get overthrown in the opening round. Paul Hartley's team completes the sweep and looks poised for a deep playoff run. 3 2 is your final. Our final game of the night is taking place in Sochi, where the Leopards are looking to tie the series against Lokomotiv in Game 4. Home team strikes late in the first. Former Lokomotiv forward Alexander Palunin centers it from behind the net and Stepan Starkov catches in. 1-0 Sochi after 20. Loco got back even 8.5 minutes into the second period. Kiri Chiripano puts the puck on net from the point and Igor Averin skillfully redirects it but Mr. Shikin. Things go from bad to worse for Lokomotiv as 4 minutes later, Captain Eric Dell jumps out of the penalty box, gets the puck from Sergei Shpilov and scores his first of the postseason. Gotta be a nice feeling to put his team back in the lead after serving that one game suspension. We skip ahead to late in the third, Sochi cuff up the puck on the line change, Brandon Cousin skates to the net with a lot of open ice in front of him, but he can't beat Mitri Shikin. Easily the save of the game right there, Sochi bag it in the next shift. Robert Rosen scores on the empty net to seal the deal. Sochi take it 3-1 on home ice and tie the series at twos. There will be a minimum of two more games in this matchup. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for four more games according to Torpedo Boris and of course Spartak Moscow vs SKA St. Petersburg. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.